Hi, Christy and Jess here with the Bug Chicks. And this month we are working with Stembox to help you find your inner bug dork by making an insect collection. First, you're gonna need an insect pin. You can use the collecting jar that comes in your stem box, or you can use a Ziploc bag, or a yogurt container, or a takeout box, whatever. Just be careful of stinging insects. Now, you're gonna want something that is two times the size of a ladybug or larger. The larger the insect, the easier it is to pin, especially if you're a first time pinner. And if you're gonna collect a butterfly or a dragonfly, at the end of this tutorial, we're gonna show you an easy modification on the pinning board to help you pin those insects. You also want to make sure you write down exactly where you got it. The county, state, and GPS coordinates, which you can find on Google Maps. The date you collected it, and anything specific or unusual, like if it was eating a plant, note which plant it was on. Stick the insects in the freezer for at least four days. A little bit longer if they're big. Professional tip, keep the insects in the containers as you freeze them. You don't want them to fly and crawl around in your freezer until they cool down. Also, label your containers. No unexpected surprises for your family members. Good point. <laughs> Think it through. are now official junior entomologists. We want to see your insect collections. Share with us on social media, hashtag stembox, hashtag the bug chicks. And for more information about box, visit thebugchicks.com. And for more information about this month's box, visit the stembox website. Thanks bug dorks, share those collections.